we're seeing even more buyers and sellers returning to the market. So let's get caught up on this week's real estate update. Hi, I'm Jake Tishak, a real estate agent here in Illinois. And today, thanks for joining me for week seven on the real estate update with the pandemic effect. Today, we are looking at new listings coming on the market, as well as homes that have gone under contract to keep up with supply and demand and see where we're headed. Also, now that we have April in the books, we're gonna go over some numbers as far as what our actual inventory of homes looks like. So last week, we saw 5,216 new homes come on the market here in Chicagoland area, which is down 36% compared to last year. DuPage County, you saw 522 new homes come on the market, down 37% compared to last year. And Will County, you had 331 new homes come on the market, which is down 36% compared to last year. Now, as far as buyers that wrote offers on homes, we saw 3,937 homes uh, go under contract here in Chicago land area, which is down 10% compared to last year. Now, DuPage County, you had 357 homes go under contract, which is down 20% compared to last year. In Will County, you had 318 homes go under contract, which is actually up 5% compared to last year. So when we look back at April, now that we have a full month in the books, we can look at our inventory based on how many homes that have sold during the month going forward. And this is really a favorite number of a lot of realtors. So in both Chicagoland as well as DuPage County, we saw a three and a half month supply of homes. And that places us pretty comfortably inside of a balanced market. Will County actually saw 2.9 month supply of homes based on our current numbers. And that actually puts it into a seller's market. While we're still seeing a reduction in activity compared to last year, these are both good numbers to see coming out with more sellers and more buyers returning, more activity, more options. And as we go forth, we continue probably to see this keeping things level. And actually we might see a little bit busier activity at the end of May and going into June. Traditionally, both March and April are some pretty busy months in the real estate market. Lots of activity. And since the pandemic sort of hampered that with the shelter in place and so forth, it really postponed a lot of that activity. Now going forward into the future, and especially now that we have extra precautionary measures in effect, and people are becoming more comfortable and knowledgeable about things, I see this continuing and probably actually seeing numbers start to maybe even increase compared to last year as we head into the summer months because there's less travel, and less things going on that people have postponed and giving an opportunity for those backlogged activities to get caught up. So stay in tune. Of course, if you have questions looking for more activity in your neck of the woods, take a look at the link below and get your free report, Homes That Recently Sold in Your Neighborhood. And as always, if you do have questions, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I'm Jake Tishak with Keller Williams. Thanks for watching.